What's up, everybody? Tree City West here. Today, we're going to be talking about Eigenlayer. What is Eigenlayer? And specifically, how does Eigenlayer relate to the X1 blockchain? I know Jack has been mentioning it a lot in Twitter spaces, and it kind of feels like something that no one's really talking about, but it has some amazing features that'll bring value to the ecosystem. So today we're going to talk about what is Eigenlayer, how it works, and what does it mean for the X1 ecosystem. So let's get into it. So to understand how Eigenlayer relates to X1, we have to understand what Eigenlayer is at its most basic level. An Eigenlayer is a protocol that enables Ethereum restakers to stake ETH across multiple platforms at once. So where did it come from? Eigenlayer was founded by Sriram Cannon, a former professor at the University of Washington who led the UW's blockchain lab. And then in more recent news, Eigen Labs raised $100 million in a Series B round from Andreessen Horowitz in February of this year. So obviously there's a lot of interest and research and money flowing into this idea of Eigenlayer, but what is it? Well, Eigenlayer is a protocol that supports oracles, MEV management, low latency settlement chains, and single slot finality in Ethereum and other protocols. So in essence, Eigenlayer is a middleware built on the Ethereum network to commoditize decentralized trust. It provides features such as data availability, decentralized sequencers for things like layer two rollups, light node bridges to go from one network to another. For example, if you want to go from Ethereum to Optimism. And these types of protocols typically have a lower cost barrier to entry. They're able to kickstart because they can use that Ethereum security rather than having to build the network security themselves. Essentially, they're able to leverage Ethereum security layer by using this Eigenlayer technology. So what problem is Eigenlayer solving? The problem that it solves is the low capital efficiency and the liquidity of traditional staking, where users have to lock up their assets for long periods of time and cannot use them for other purposes. You know, when you go to stake ETH, you lock it in the staking contract and then you earn rewards. And when you unlock, there's typically a long unstaking period and then you finally get your assets back, maybe a month later. Well, Eigenlayer developed a platform that allows users to stake ETH across multiple platforms at once. So how does this work? Well, for an example, we can use Lido. Eigenlayer works by using Lido's STETH or staked ETH as an input for restaking. So users can deposit their staked ETH with Eigenlayer and restake it across multiple platforms at once, earning extra fees and rewards. You're not just staking and locking it in Ethereum, you're getting a token back they can use in other staking protocols while you're still earning the Ethereum. So this type of restaking mechanism is pretty revolutionary. It allows Ethereum or liquid staking tokens to be restaked, giving a whole new world of asset utilization. So you can see this chart. Uh, one thing to keep in mind here, so the, the blockchain token is this red token and the liquid staking token is the token you get back. So this box in the center is the staking pool. So as a user, you put in your blockchain token, your Ethereum or your X1, and then in return, you get this purple, this liquid staking token. And then once you have this liquid staking token, you can use it to participate in external DeFi protocols. And then you earn yield on those protocols while your blockchain token is still being staked in the native staking pool. And then you can see it creates this whole flywheel effect where not only the user and the external DeFi protocol benefit, but also the node operators, the validators, and the DAO treasuries all receive certain fees, rewards by participating in the staking pool that's built upon the Eigenlayer. So how is it actually used today? Well, let's continue to talk about Lido. STETH is a liquid staking derivative of Ethereum, which means that it represents the value and rewards of staked ETH. So you stake your ETH in Lido, and then you receive the STETH back. And then once you have that STETH token, you can use it in other platforms that accept STETH, such as Arbitrum or Optimism or ZK Sync. And then in this example, the users can restake their STETH to support data availability layers, which are layer two solutions that aim to improve the scalability and performance of Ethereum. So for example, if you want to participate in Optimism, you can stake your Ethereum, receive STETH, and then you put that STETH in the Optimism bridge, you, and then you receive STETH on Optimism, and you can participate in protocols on Optimism from that ETH that is still staked back in Ethereum. And this type of inter-network cross-chain staking is done with Eigenlayer. So not only does it work with layer twos, users can restake their ETH to support Oracle networks such as Chainlink, Band Protocol, API3. These are protocols that provide reliable and secure data feeds for smart contracts. 
And then you can also restake STE to support consensus protocols, things like Casper or Polkadot or Cosmos, which are blockchains that use different mechanisms to achieve agreement and finality. And they can utilize the Ethereum security layer to keep their network safe. And they do this by leveraging the Eigen layer. So there are quite a few different liquid staking and restaking protocols. There's Lido, Rocketpool, Coinbase, Binance. They all have their own liquid staking derivatives. Then we also have things like Frax, which is a stable coin. We have Mantle, Liquid, Anchor Protocol, Origin Protocol, all these different things. And then we also have other layer ones that operate on the Eigen layer, such as Near Protocol and Cosmos Atom. The Eigen layer facilitates the expansion of new applications and services fostering a dynamic environment of blockchain innovation by broadening the ecosystem's horizons and leveraging the security of Ethereum or other layer ones to keep these layer twos safe and secure. And just like with any crypto protocol, there's risks and challenges. And some of the potential risks include slashing and centralization and yield risks. For example, if a user stakes ETH in a protocol like Chainlink and Chainlink fails to provide accurate data or the network goes down, they're not gonna receive those rewards and Chainlink fails to keep their obligation as the node provider, then the user staked ETH may be slashed or penalized. Even though technically it's not their fault, it's more Chainlink's problem. Since they're staking within Chainlink, they could lose their ETH. And that's one of the risks of this liquid staking. So how will it work with X1 and Zen? And what does the eigenlayer integration mean for X1? Well, the X1 blockchain is a layer one EVM compatible solution with Bitcoin integration and the Zen blocks hybrid proof of work design. It aims to bridge the gap between the EVM ecosystems and Bitcoin and provide a superior user experience that empowers various DeFi applications. By integrating Eigenlayer, the X1 blockchain can leverage the security and decentralization of Ethereum staked ETH while offering faster transaction speeds and lower fees than Ethereum. This can enhance the scalability and usability of X1 blockchain and its applications. And what that does is enhance the scalability and usability of X1 and its applications built upon it. So by integrating the Eigenlayer, the X1 blockchain can offer users liquid staking and restaking. So for example, a user can stake Ethereum on the X1 blockchain and receive XETH, a liquid staking token that's pegged to the value of ETH. The user can then restake XETH on Eigenlayer and receive a new token to participate in new protocols that may not exist yet, something like ZuniSwap or, or Zave, like Ave to earn more rewards and access more services. And this way, the user can keep their ETH, they get liquid XETH, and they earn both ETH and XN as yield. This can increase the user's engagement and loyalty to the X1 blockchain and its ecosystem and create more liquidity and demand for XETH and XN. When there's more liquidity and there's more demand, that means less supply, that means price go up. So in conclusion, Eigenlayer can leverage Ethereum security to provide new features to X1. To implement liquid restaking functionalities for XETH, the X1 blockchain needs to be compatible with Eigenlayer modules, such as the Eigenlayer smart contracts, the Eigenlayer bridge, and the Eigenlayer oracle. These modules enable communication and interaction between X1 and the Eigenlayer platform, as well as the verification and validating of restaking transactions and proofs. Whew, that's a mouthful. So what does that mean? That means building Eigenlayer into X1 enhances X1 security, efficiency, and engagement with the community. It offers new methods to earn rewards. It enhances staking and offers liquid staking, and it can create liquidity and add new features to the ecosystem. So developers can build new applications on top of the network. So after this explanation, I hope you understand a little more about what Eigenlayer is and how it's gonna be used in X1. We're gonna be able to do things like stake ETH and stake X1 and receive liquid staking derivative tokens and then participate in other ecosystems and other dApps and other protocols to earn even more XN and ETH. And it's really the future of the ecosystem and interoperability. And that's exactly what Zen is building with a 12 chains. And it's kind of interesting to think about how Zen was built on 12 different chains. And now we're adding this Eigen layer that supports liquid staking and cross chain EVM solutions. So think about that. Until next time, thank you for watching. My name is Tree City Wes. I hope you stay Zen. Peace.